All right, everyone, here we are with ticker symbol IDEX, Ideonomics, Inc. And before I jump into this chart, I do want to state two things. For those of you that learned something new, subscribe to this channel. For those of you that found this informative and liked this video, go ahead and hit that like button for me to let me know you watched it. And also share this with your friends and community. Another thing as well apart from subscribing liking and sharing this uh video yesterday i had stated some very um uh, significant information in regards to how this chart was acting in the last couple of days and how it has acted in the past right here right here and right here and also right here because there was a slight uh jump at that point after that point and even if we go back here, and then there was a run. And the reason why those significant moments are important is because I stated in the last video that this was very interesting to me on how it was ending the day. And usually when bears are in control and there's a bearish trend, it's always steep. And for some reason it was leveling out with bears in control which usually shows the opportunity of a turnaround fairly in a close time frame right fairly close and we could see that the bulls appeared quickly and the bears came steep again you see this is a bearish move right here a steep not not this usually when this happens there's a little bit drops of, of bull somewhere like right here, right? There's a one, two, three bulls and two bearish candlesticks. And then if we go back even to leveling out here, bulls are appearing. They appear here. And if we go all the way back over here, right? Let me zoom in. This leveled out here. And yeah, there's a bearish moment, but the bulls are here. They're here. They were here um, and so forth. So that was the most interesting to me because it leveled out with the bears leveling it out themselves. Why is that interesting? Because either the bears were getting exhausted, um, short sellers were um, having their expiration dates on puts or something. I mean, there's so many variables that were significant, but you can just see how exhausted the bears were because if the bears were continuing this run in this much control there was no bullish candlestick it would continue steep so i found that interesting and i had stated in the last video more information on that i would love for you guys to go watch it it's the video i posted yesterday i'm going to put the link of that video down below and um, i hope that you guys find it informative and helpful so let's jump into this chart the first thing is Resistance levels were broken and support level was broken. And this is why when it's getting close to the support level or the resistance level, it's so important to pay close attention. Why? Well, as you can see here, the support level was broken for just a distance of a couple cents. And from that moment, the bulls took advantage and took this one off breaking through that support level and breaking through the resistance level and breaking through the 50 day moving average, turning this into a bullish chart. So let's move this over to their new locations, right? And we will zoom in on what is important to pay close attention to for tomorrow. So this is a very, very uh, broad, um, analysis right now but there are ways to look at it much more narrower and i'm going to zoom in but these are the key indicators on what's going to happen next so the first thing is the resistance level 170 this resistance level needs to be broken and used as support to break through the most important resistance level which is 176 right 176 is the highest point this reached and from that moment it got rejected for the bullish run to continue the bulls need to break through 176 and use it as support 
So I'd write that down. But the most important right now is 170 before um, worrying about 176. And the support level is 143. That's the lowest point that it reached. And uh, the market is open uh, still. It's 732. It closes at 8. I'm assuming that this isn't going to change significantly. So that's why I'm just going to go ahead and state that just in case this does change in a trend where it falls even lower, I don't think it'll fall lower than this, but it falls lower. Anything in between here is going to let you know what's going on. Now, this support level is very important because it's going to bring you back down this chart closer to the 50 day moving average. The 50 day moving average is 140. As long as this stays above it, right? Even if it comes close to the support level and comes right back up, the bulls are still in control and they can work their way to break through resistance levels and new resistance levels by using them as support. Now, 143, if it does get broken and the bears continue this run, they're on their way to gaining control again. So 143 is a very significant uh, support level to keep a close eye on because even when that gets broken, yeah, the bears are on their way to gain control. They could probably even get closer to the 50 day moving average and break through it. But like it happened yesterday, the bulls took advantage of the price and brought it back up. And that's something to pay close attention to on the behavior of the stock throughout the day. This stock hasn't closed out yet, it has 30 more minutes. It's at 154 right now. I'm just going to go ahead and make the assumption that this will close anywhere between $1.50 to 160. And if it doesn't even change significantly, significantly from 154, um, we still have the most important things because 160 to 150, this is still all relevant. This uh, support level and this resistance level, they're all relevant because anything that happens in between this area is what is going to indicate this. And I'm sure that in the next 30 minutes, this isn't going to change drastically. Um, there's a lot less uh, volume and uh, volatileness going on after hours. So um, I hope you guys find this helpful. For those of you that learned something new, subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Get notified. And uh, you will be able to receive notifications on my daily videos. And hit the like button for me to let me know you subscribe and watch this video. As always, thank you for watching.